Hello guys, we are going to talk a mystery thriller film called It Follows, from 2014. A lot of interesting things are waiting for you. The girl runs down the city street, trying to hide from the unknown creature. She realizes that she will not be able to escape, so she decides to call her family to say goodbye. She runs to the beach and her body is found the next morning. Soon, student Jay becomes the center of attention. One day, her friends invite her to watch a movie with them, but she refuses because she has to get ready for a date with her boyfriend. Hugh is an attractive young man who does not arouse suspicion. However, in the movie theater, he notices a girl in a yellow dress that she has not seen before, and this seems strange to her, but she does not pay much attention to it. After the first date, the girl returns home and shares her impressions with her sister Kelly. Soon it's time for the second date, and the couple decides to have some fun in the car. Hugh uses a certain drug to put Jay to sleep. When she wakes up, she realizes that she is in a contaminated house. The girl is tied to a chair and cannot move. Her lover tells her the reason for his actions. He says that he is under a terrible curse, because of which he is constantly being chased by a cruel creature. If the creature catches up with its victim, it will destroy him. The only way to escape is to pass the curse on to someone else. To do this, Jay will have to have fun with someone. She doesn't believe Hugh's words at first, thinking it's nonsense. But that's why the guy brought her to the building, to show her the creature. A few minutes later, the girl notices a naked woman slowly approaching her. Hugh then gets into a car with Jay and drives her home, where he throws her out of the car and drives away. The girl tells the story to her sister and friends, who call the police. The police arrive at the address where Jay says Hugh lives. However, when they arrive, it becomes obvious that the address was made up, and neither Hugh nor the naked woman is there. Jay continues her normal life and goes to school. During the lecture, she behaves quite calmly, but soon notices a creature in the window that has transformed into an elderly woman. Realizing that this creature is moving towards her, the heroine gathers her things and hurriedly leaves the audience. But in the corridor, she notices her pursuer. The girl starts screaming, but no one around her understands who she is pointing at. After that, she gets home and tells her family about the problem again. Her friends, Paul and Yara, decide to spend the night at her house to be there to help her in case of any problems. Jay and Kelly agree and spend the night together. The girl can't sleep, so she goes to Paul's guest room. He tries to cheer her up by telling her funny stories from their past. Suddenly, however, she hears the sound of glass breaking in the kitchen. It turns out that someone has broken into the house, and Paul goes upstairs to wake the others. Jay decides to see what happened and a few minutes later sees a creature in the form of a woman trying to approach her. She screams and runs to the room where she meets her other friends and tells them what happened, but they do not see what she sees. Later, the creature reappears in a different form and Jay runs out of the house. Soon, her friends find her on the playground and try to figure out what to do next. A few moments later, Jay sees her neighbor Greg, but is afraid that it is the same creature that wants her dead again. However, it turns out that it is the real Greg, who offers to help the girl and takes them far away from this place. They end up in the old house of the same guy who gave her the curse. There, among the magazines, they find photos of Hugh and decide to start looking for him. Arriving at Hugh's old school, the friends find his address. When they find the boy, Jay and the others ask Hugh, who has a different name, to tell them as much as possible about the monster that is chasing the girl. It turns out that he doesn't know much about it either. It all started after he had fun with a stranger from a club. That's when he realized that the person with whom the cursed person has fun becomes the victim. But if the new victim dies, the creature will pursue the previous target again. That's why he started dating Jay and had fun with her. At the same time, the guy says that the monster is quite smart because it never runs and probably enjoys the slow hunt. The boy apologizes and advises the girl to pass the curse on to someone else. But the girl does not want to put her loved ones in such danger. In search of a safe place, Greg takes everyone to his parents' house by the lake, where he teaches Jay how to shoot a revolver so she can defend herself. He believes that this skill will help her feel more confident and stop being afraid. So the friends are sitting on the beach, but suddenly the girl's hair rises up. The heroine tries to fight off the demon, but all attempts are in vain. At this time, Paul comes to the rescue, grabs a chair, and smashes it against the invisible back of the creature. However, the creature throws him aside. Nevertheless, this was enough time for Jay and the others to hide in the house. The friends close the door, but the creature still enters the room. Jay decides not to wait for his friends, steals Greg's car, and drives off in an unknown direction. A moment later, she loses control and ends up in a cornfield. After that, she loses consciousness. She wakes up in a hospital and discovers that she has broken her arm. She cautiously looks around, but sees nothing suspicious. Her friends begin to believe the girl's words because Paul even has bruises after trying to save his friend. 
Greg, however, is rather skeptical, so he decides to have fun with her to prove to the others that the monster does not exist. None of the people present even tries to dissuade him. No one came to see Greg for a few days, and everyone began to think that Jay was lying about the monster, but it was more complicated than that. One day she looked outside and saw someone breaking a window in Greg's house. Realizing that it was the creature, she ran to her friend's house to help. When she gets to his room, she sees Greg's almost naked mother, who is the demon. The heroine tries to warn her friend but doesn't have time. In the end, the guy opens the door and the creature attacks him and brutally destroys him. Subsequently, Paul tries to find out why she decided to pass the curse onto Greg instead of him. The fact is that they were both in love with her. Thus, he learns that she had already had fun with Greg in the past, but he was not afraid of this monster, so Jay decided to pass the curse to him. The girl realizes that from that moment on, the creature will be chasing the heroine again. Paul offers her to have fun, but she refuses. The next day, the friends decide to come up with a way to destroy the creature once and for all, so they end up in a large swimming pool. According to the plan, Jay has to lure the monster into the water, while the other friends have to throw live electrical appliances into the pool. Maybe this will help kill it. Jay enters the water and sees the monster, but the creature is not in a hurry to get into the pool, but throws electrical appliances into it. The friends try to find out where it is to shoot it in the head, but they can't see it, and all the clues don't help them find the target. Finally, they manage to figure out where the creature is with the help of a cloth. Paul shoots at the creature, but it doesn't take long to neutralize the enemy. After several shots, the monster falls into the pool. Jay tries to get to the surface, but the creature holds her leg tightly. Paul continues to shoot and soon hits the monster. The heroine gets out of the water and sees the water in the pool gradually turning blood-colored. The friends think that they have finally managed to destroy the otherworldly creature. Soon after, Paul and Jay make love, after which they try to figure out if something has changed, since she could have passed the curse on to him. However, neither of them feels any change. After a while, Paul gets in his car and drives around the city looking for girls, in case the monster killing didn't work out. And now Jay and Paul are walking down the street holding hands, and someone's silhouette follows them. Do you think Hugh did the right thing by putting an innocent girl in danger because of his curse? Or should he have dealt with all the problems himself and not put anyone close to him in danger? Although the girl and her friends were able to defeat the creature, it turned out that the creature somehow survived and continues to haunt Jay. Although perhaps it was just an ordinary person passing by.